Hello everyone and welcome back to Reckham TV, the official web show for Texas Tech Athletics. I'm Travis Cram here with the Texas Tech Official Sports Report, live here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, site of this year's 2010 Valero Alamo Bowl between Texas Tech and Michigan State. Got a chance to stop by with Sonny Cumbie earlier to talk a little bit about the offense and his new role with the team. All right, everyone, sitting here now with Texas Tech graduate assistant Sonny Cumbie. And Sonny, you've been in uh, bowl games before, been there as a player, got to play in the Holiday Bowl, of course, a memorable one five years ago. How's this different uh, taking it from the coaching side now? Well, it's a lot more uh, to do off the field than, than I'm used to. Uh, as a player, you, you bus around, you go to practice, and they, they tell you where to go, they what to do, and so you just follow orders. And so it's a little bit easier as a player just because uh, everything is scripted out for you. As a coach, you're handling so many things really off the field and then uh, making sure guys are getting in home in time, curfew, different things like that, meetings, preparing. You, you finish a meeting, you prepare for the next one. And so as a player, you kind of just showed up. You did all the fun stuff uh, that they let you do, and you practice, and then you won a game. It's a lot, a lot more... Uh, involved as a coach and I definitely enjoy it. So the guys that are curious, you know, what do you try to describe to them and how to handle this week and just making sure you stay focused but also enjoying it at the same time? Yeah, I think as a coaching staff, uh, you know, th this coaching staff has done a really good job of preparing for bowls, keeping the guys focused on games, on the football game itself. Uh, we do have some fun, but the fun part is coming down here and winning. And every bowl game that I've been to that you won uh, is the most fun bowl game you've ever been to. And I've been to a few where we lost and it wasn't very much fun. Uh, coach Ruff taking over as interim head coach this week. How, how, for those who aren't here, how do you describe the way practices have gone these first two days and the attitude of the team? Well, it's, it's kind of a uh, business as usual. We practice the same as, as we always do, the same practice schedule and everything like that. So uh, it's gone well. With you and Lincoln uh, doing the play calling, he's going to be up in the booth calling down to you. You'll be hand signaling the plays in. What, what does that maybe do for you as far as confidence and saying that they obviously see that you can handle this in a bowl game now? Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's exciting. You know, it's exciting, the opportunity, but, uh, you know, you just, you just make the most out of it. What do you uh, say to everyone in San Antonio? What's here to enjoy? Uh, what have you gotten to do so far? Well, we, we've been around the Riverwalk a lot, and it's been raining today. So, uh, you know, San Antonio, I, I really enjoy the city. It's kind of a laid-back city, it seems like, and, and uh, a little bit slower paced than a few of the other bigger cities that we've been to, and, and I really enjoy being here. For Taylor Potts, uh, when, when he gets into that game, uh, what, is he, what do you want to see from him right away? What do you expect from him? Well, I expect that to, for him to, to play like he's been practicing because he's practiced very well over these bowl practices, and, and he's had great uh, tempo. He's been really disciplined in his reads, and, and so I, I, it's a kind of accumulation of his season. I hope to see that uh, Saturday night. All right, Sonny, we appreciate the time. Right, Good luck to you guys this we week. It. And we'll be able to catch more on TexasTech.com for more updates this week.